guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin. I'm Tarsha. And this is Conversations with the Crawleys. We have conversations about faith, family, relationships, and we do recaps, reviews, and commentary on some of our favorite shows. This one is all about Lindy and Miguel from Married at First Sight, season 15 in San Diego. So if this is content that you enjoy, and I know it is because you're here, <laughs> hit that subscribe. In fact, right now, hit the likes, request yep. notifications, and share. And of course, also now become a member. Become a Membership member. has its privileges. So definitely make sure you're hitting that join button. We appreciate all of our members. In fact, just a quick shout out to one of the first members, Michelle Austin. Michelle. What up, girl? Thanks for becoming a member. My middle name's Michelle. I'm just saying. Random trivia. There we go. It's connection. <laughs> I at least I hope it's not Kevin too. Her middle name's not Kevin. What? Huh? I don't know. All right. Okay. Anyway. Any who? Lindy and Miguel. Now we kind of didn't get their video out last week. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It happened. It's this is called life. Been crazy kind of week. So, um, but one of the things from that last week that I do remember was, um. His friend came over and was kind of like, Lindy needs to fix herself because we ain't liking her. Because remember, the friend was talking about how um, she had had this whole thing about the health insurance. And she kind of blew up to them at the, the party that they had. And so his friend was like, you know, she needs to get herself together because we're not liking her. We're not feeling her. So... Now we're at a place where they are in a better space. Mm -hmm. I guess he added her to the insurance or at least she got it. She went to the doctor or whatever. Right. She got an ID card. <laughs> <laughs> that FSA card came in. Right. <laughs> right. She can get that prescription now. Hey. Um, but so they go boating mm -hmm. um, and they're out there and they're talking yeah. again. Just talking through some things he talks about how he read an article um where um the what did he say that um, you can get along with the person as long as there's reliability and predictability I, I agree with that and he's like you know even in your your manic areas right yes you're, you're predictable he's like but i i now have seen you at your worst and she's like no you haven't no you haven't you have i can get worse right but long as that's consistent, we're gonna be all right. <laughs> but well, I agree with that. I, re I agree no, with I, what he read. I agree with yes, reliability mm -hmm. and, and and predictability. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yes, mm -hmm. but I'm concerned about the statement where she's like, "Oh no, you haven't seen me at my worst." She might be a little bit dramatic about that. Is she though? Potentially, or she needs to be on some medication. That might be why she needed the insurance. <laughs> You see somebody because <laughs> they ain't cheap. Because, hear me if, if you if you cussed me out up and down because I we had a disagreement, let's say, about in this case taking the last name and health insurance. If you fussed and cussed me out in our first three weeks like that, and you're saying it can get worse than that, I'm a little concerned. Well, she says she has respect for him and that she she doesn't want to even go there. But she him. did go there. Well, obviously well, she... not at the level of the respect she has for him. Right. That's what I'm getting at. So, so only thing I can say is it sounds like they're going to have to continue to go through counseling. Yes. And he's going to have to hold on to the information he received. Yes. Um, because, again, everyone has their own quirks, you know, Quirks, Quirks. Mm -hmm. and different things like that. So he, he, just like everything else, you have to make a decision if you're going to, if the person never changes, this is what we learn yep. in premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. If the person never changes, are you willing to stay married to them? Or is it in a their, deal breaker? In their present state. In their present state. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously people can get better if they make right. the decision, right? True. It's always a decision. That I'm going to work on this but and you, I'm trying to get better. But you can't go into it with the idea that you're going to change them. Oh, no. Because you're setting oh, yourself no. up for failure. Oh, God, no. No. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> stuck with how you are. Wow. You're stuck with me? I am stuck. 
Pretty much. I'm, just, I'm not training nobody else. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's too many years. Okay. So. Anyway. So. <laughs> just wow. So they get their one month box because, of course, this week is everybody's going through their month anniversary. Yeah. And they get their pictures and their vows mm-hmm. and everything. And. You know, as they're going through it, she gets pretty negative about it. She's like, oh, this looks crazy, all oh, this and that. And he's like, she's being kind of snarky and negative on everything as we're going through the pictures and box. And that's, again, in my opinion, part of her personality coming out. Um, you would think or hope, right, that you're seeing that it's a little more, oh, my goodness, do you remember that day? Oh, I felt nervous. This is da 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 da. Well, she was sharing how she was really feeling. But but it it went downhill quick. This is like everything. She's like, oh, I felt. Oh, we look awkward. She's like, he was like, no, we, we didn't have awkward. She's like, well, I felt awkward. Yeah. So she's sharing what she's actually feeling in those moments, which wasn't positive. Right. You know. So that's yeah. So <laughs> I think I for him, he's like he's looking for. Or at least he was expecting, I think, her to have a little more um, reminiscing about that. Mm -hmm. A little more um, kind of look how far we've come type of thing. Um, You know, this was the start of something great type of thing. Instead of, oh, that was not good. Oh, this was this was awkward. Oh, this was that. So just the just it's a pivot, right? It is because. Maybe because of her background, maybe she's always felt like she needed to be perfect. And when things don't look perfect to her, that's how it comes out, you know. But I get what he's saying. You want to be in the moment and enjoy the moment instead Mm -hmm. of looking at what's going wrong. Right. You want to look at what's good about it. So, I understand that. So, then, um, later on, she says that she's in the healthiest relationship she's ever had. That's crazy. (laughs) That's crazy. I mean, like it's sad that yes. you and I granted it takes a while. Well, it didn't take me, but it does take people a couple of relationships to find what works. And for yes, them. you want you want your last relationship to be the healthiest relationship you had. But the way she just put it was like she's had some really unhealthy relationships, right? That's okay. Well. Yeah, it happened. Um, so then at dinner with all the other couples, you know, they do say that things are moving better mm-hmm. than, or Miguel says things are moving better than mm-hmm. he expected. Mm-hmm. Um, so whereas Miguel was initially like, you got eight weeks and then we're going to figure this out. And mm-hmm. if I'm gone, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. He at least is now like, you know what, this is progressing in a good way, in a positive way. So. Yeah, because, you know, he's talking about, she's like having grace with people because he's mm-hmm. more like. No, I'm dismissive. Like, you're gone. If right. we don't... But it's like, you don't realize when life changes, you start having kids, you're going to have to have grace with children. If you're going to have grace with children, you have grace with your, with your, spouse. your spouse. And a lot of these absolutes as single people we have, <laughs> they go out of the door when you get married. I'm just sorry. You know, I think I had them. Um, all the, I don't know about you. I'm going to speak for me. I had some absolutes. I'm not, absolutely not going to do this or I'm absolutely not going to have this happen and realize very quickly that mm-hmm. that changes when you get married and have a partner. Yeah. So. yeah. so that was it. Other than her trying to steal uh, Justin's food when he had his little hissy fit. So um, that was it for them. We'll see what happens as they move forward. Make sure you check out the other videos for all the other couples that we are reviewing and commenting on. And we will see you next time. Have a great one. Be blessed. Bye.